a very low barrier to get into the Gronk Squad. That's crazy! We've committed to do the Daily Talk Show for 10 years. So, hi guys. Hi guys. Put it in the calendar. Put that one in. I'd just like to check the temperature in the room. I told you my squeegee story. It is outrageous. Come on, let's go. It's the Daily Talk Show episode 1016. Hey, what is happening? Happy hump day, everybody. Mm-hmm. Georgie Boy joins us yeah. today at the producer's desk. G'day, guys. Good to be back on Hump Day. <laughs> Mate, how are you feeling on Hump Day? Oh, nostalgic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, Wednesdays were my favourite day for a good yeah. three months. Tuesdays were your worst. Most anxious, at yeah, least. You would yeah. uh, spend many hours in on a Tuesday evening finishing an edit. Is that right? <laughs> Fretting about yeah. how awful it is, but then mm-hmm. and then yeah. um, pumped up on Wednesday because everyone would say... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just clap it. <laughs> Just clap it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you a bit hung? Uh, hung like a monkey? Yeah. No, so uh, yesterday we did do... Um, I'm not really into drinking culture, so I don't want to spend too much time <laughs> celebrating my um, hangover. But was um, I was just asking. It was just a question. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> no, no, no. He's hung. He's, uh, I'm hungover. He's no, hung. No, no, He's yeah, hung. No. Um, I'm, I'm feeling tired today. Yeah, that's yeah, hangover, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Remember George, when you said I've never had a hangover? You yeah, said actually, that I don't. You know what? Like, maybe I'm just. <laughs> maybe can you stop with the fidget spinner? I can hear the, the vibration. No, you can't. I'm getting more and more. Uh, you were you, you doing that? With You're the, actually bumping. It was you that's bumped it. The guy's hungover as shit. Dude. Um, anyway, <laughs> you can't actually hear it. No, so what was happening? Were you? Uh, we you banged down. it. You banged you were, it. You were hitting. The no, but thing. you banged it. No, no, you did. Um, anyway, He's hungover. Uh, this is what happens, Josh. A telltale sign of being hungover. Mm-hmm. Anything shits you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything shits yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, no, no I, I, f- I feel that. George was actually <laughs> saying because um, we we're talking about the type of person you are when you drink, uh, which is funny because I had the domain name, you and I, before we went into business together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, bought the domain name When I Drink and we we're going to do a documentary. Um, exploring uh, alcohol yeah. and uh, culture and things like yeah. that. We got too drunk to finish it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but it's interesting. Like, um, yeah, what do you remember from that from that time? Uh, not much. Mm-hmm. I think I was drunk. Yeah. No, no, no. no. no so I, I just remember um, it must have been 2017. It would have been like- just, 19, 20, 20, I was in 40. your office at that point. That was the oh, first yeah, time that's I, right. I met you. DJ. Met me. Yeah, yeah. I remember you came in for a meeting with Josh and you got uh-huh. some brainstorming ideas. That I can't even right. remember that. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that funny? And so- and Diet Street. Yeah. yeah. Can't even remember that. Yeah. And, I mean, um, I remember going to that place yeah. a few times, yeah. but- Isn't that funny? Can't and remember. Um, well, I, no, I remember you being there. George being but there. I don't rem- I, but I felt like maybe I'd already met you. Yeah, maybe. But maybe- I, I, remember, I remember Josh was like, oh, my mate Tommy. Do you know Tommy Jacket? He's- um. He was on Sunrise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely, yeah, yeah, no, I definitely yeah. know you. I would always know. I, I think that that's been the consistent thing. I'm yeah, a, yeah. a good hyper. One cameo on the project. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, hasn't since no, been Obike back. Obike and all that. So I think it was, uh, maybe it was just after Obike but fishing. Did you, did you make the connection though, George? Did you know who I was? No, no, I didn't know. No, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is a sad day. No, so I think um, timeline wise, I think in October, I think it was October 1, that you um, launched the O-Bike video. The reason why I think <laughs> I re- remember that 2017 was because um, uh, we got the domain name for it, maybe. I, th- I feel okay. like you got like an O-Bike fishing. Um, dot com. Dot com. Yes. And um, yeah, no, but we, we, we did some filming. We went to Smith Street and oh, we right, yeah. asked, we did Vox Pops and said, ah, oh, you know, what do you like when you drink? It all got um, a bit sad. Because we, were, st- we yeah. were at the pub and it was probably 12. Yeah. And there were some guys there that were drinking who were happy to talk. Yeah. Loved it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Booze. I think if you think about I've, over the course of the show, we've spoken about starting to drink. Like I just started to drink. Um, and so now you can't say that because you've- Yeah, exactly. Been but I, I definitely see the appeal in not drinking. And I see the- So mm-hmm. one of the interesting things about what we- Some, some of the stuff that we read- when we're researching about drinking is that there, um, I remember seeing a graph and it was like uh, anxiety and people who drink a lot and people who don't drink at all have a higher level of anxiety. Oh yeah. And so I remember being like, oh, well maybe, I don't know if this is good science or makes any sense, but I'm like, 
maybe I'm anxious because I'm not drinking at all. Maybe I need to just drink just a tiny bit. Just like be a little bit more carefree with things, Mm -hmm. you know. But I think it comes with the mindset of the person that doesn't really think too much about Mm -hmm. it, but but then doesn't push it across the line. And that is like saying use something that's addictive yeah. in moderation yeah. and have no issue with it. And so I'm social media is that, that like you totally yeah. smash social media, mm-hmm. you end up being anxious and yeah. comparing. You don't use it all. Maybe there's maybe it's not the same comparison. No, but I get it. Yeah, someone who's mm-hmm. not on social media at all, they could be very sort of headstrong, but there could also be a bit of pain that's associated with yeah. the social media stuff. But what uh, GB and I were talking about was um, what type of person you are when you drink. And I was sort of happy that I wasn't yelly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I was, a, I, was a, I was nice. And I, there was even a point where I think that we were being mean to each other. And um, Jess said that I said, guys, we're going to, if, if people are going to be mean to each other, we're going to stop. <laughs> okay, no, that's <laughs> which, good. That's good. Which, um, so my control freakness remains. <laughs> but um, GB was saying that if you have rum, you're more likely to be angry. Yeah, I remember hearing all yeah. this. I was like, yeah, mate, if you drink Jim Beams, you know, you'll be punchy. But <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's like, said. did you say that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that was what people used to say back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, you spirits, sure you get aggressive. But I mean- Is it just the type of person? If you're not an aggressive yeah. person, yeah. Yeah, totally. you mm-hmm. probably won't get aggressive mm-hmm. just because of the liquid. It's yeah. like, but then there's the problem with, remember pulses? They were like- mm-hmm. Garana energy drink plus vodka. Mm. Bad combo for any individual. Yeah, bad for your heart. Bad for your heart. Bad for you if you've got anger issues. Uh-huh. Lots of problems. Mm. Mm. Anyway, there was no pulses drank yesterday. Yeah. But there was a, a very much like a um, uh, just leaning into stuff that would you'd normally be embarrassing, embarrassed to do. I just remember uh, Jess and I walked and met Brie at a bookshop. Yeah. And um, on the way there- just hyping Jess up like, I'm so excited for like your future. Like <laughs> there's big things happen there's big things happening. And I reckon, you know how long Lennox Street is? I reckon that whole time I was doing a motivational speech. Who got more out of it? <laughs> me. Definitely definitely me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon there's there's a version of a hangover which is just Living with whatever <laughs> I said to someone. No, hundred yeah, percent. But um, at least it was a motivational speech, not a exactly. Like imagine being toxic. Well, imagine being like toxic or just being angry or like I'd much prefer. Oh uh, yeah. Um, but I could also see the other thing. This is one thing that Jess said to me. She's like, uh, like when I drink, as in me, I tend to deconstruct. Like the like the next day, I'm going through all the elements like i'm trying to paint the full picture i'm trying to remember every single thing that happened yeah, yeah. Well, i don't know if that's like a natural thing that everyone's trying to do no i think people either do it in their head you just do it verbally mm-hmm. or people push uh-huh. it down well, suppress said, it yeah i said to jess thinking, I, I don't want to think about what, ha- what happened yeah. yesterday but some of the things, but it's good to ask because I said, Jess, I had a feeling that I touched your face. Did I touch your face? And she said, no. And because when I got home, when you're sort of a little bit intoxicated and you go to sleep, I sort of, this is the funny thing. I was in bed by 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I slept from 8.30 to 11. And um, when I woke up at 11, during that whole time, it felt like I was actually still yeah, yeah. out and about. And so light, half like half light. of my night half of my night didn't actually happen. <laughs> Imagine if in the future there's shit that like you plug your head into, like Neuralink, uh-huh. but you actually go out and you can get up to mischief, but it's in your head mm-hmm. and it's through like a computer system. Mm-hmm. And then you it's eleven p.m. Yeah. You're like, I'm all it's all yeah. done. This is a go- you sound very similar to a guy that's got it. A VR headset and a <laughs> and a and a fucking a fuck doll. You know, like just, no, um, just what like, is this that? Is the, um, like imagine is a film, this is the future. Just seeing a guy film. with VR just <laughs> just having sex with a with the. It is that will happen too. It is happening. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent yeah. is happening. Yeah. Where no, do you store I mean, it? It's a bit nerdy having to put the headset on. I mean, like just fucking strap in like you're in the Matrix, mm-hmm. and then you're gone for an hour. But it's yeah. it's it's, le- it's actually. Like, you would feel pathetic after you t- pull that headset off. Mm. Yeah. You know? And you're like, yeah. where am I? Like, yeah. 
It's actually like going to sleep. Yeah, that post headset. You're put into a new world. Well, it's almost, and then it becomes like chasing the dragon. The problem is, though, when that starts happening mm. and it gets so good, people will want to stay in the, the realm of, th- you know, thinking like, it's, you know, in the, in the mm. universe that's been created. The problem is, it's Insta Beyond that is, um, it's like uh, Inception. Mm hmm. You won't know which world you're in. Yeah. It'll get that good. And that's the whole thought about this being a simulation. Mm. So, the point that it's got, it's evolved, the simulation's evolved that you don't know you're in the simulation. I've ordered myself an acai bowl that's arrived. If we hear a doorbell, can you just go down, George, oh, and yeah, get my sure. acai bowl? Yeah. I don't yeah. have to eat it on the show, but- um, I'm going to call you Mr. A from now on. I do love an acai bowl. And yeah. you're, and you're, and you wear, in, your, in my mind, you wear purple suits. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. A, like yeah. the mask. George- um, you're here because you lo- we love you, but you're also here because you've got something for us. Yeah. I mean, it's not to the standard of the old Hump Day replay videos, obviously. It's actually yeah. not a video. Mm-hmm. But this was <laughs> sent in by uh, Gronk Shana, mm-hmm. um, who is a great archivist because she actually, you'll remember that when, you know, the Spotify things come up where it's like, oh, I listened to this many. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Last year, she listened to 18,000 minutes of the show. Oh, <laughs> So, she huge. knows that stuff. Um, and so, she sent this in and said, oh, can you play this? Uh, this is great. And it'd be good to get your thoughts on okay. it. It's from episode yeah. 111. Yeah. If we got to a, a thousand episodes of the Daily Talk Show, would you get a tattoo? We're, We're saying that? what? The Daily Talk Show. <laughs> Where? I don't know. Anywhere. Mm. Nah, because <laughs> maybe. Man, what a, it's a thousand. Away. Like I've done it in a way that it's so far away that you'll say yes and then it will come to a thousand episodes. It gives us some content. <laughs> okay. I'll get something. I'm worried about my no, I'll just be so dumb. Dumb. no, no, no. Put it down. Something tattooed. That's not. That's not an exciting piece. <laughs> I'll working. get the Daily Talk Show tattooed in my in my world in how I want it. If we get to a thousand episodes, in like Jap- oh no, that's it. That's it. That's it. Tattoo. Sorry to uh, ruin that with my acai bowl. I was just I'll worried get, about your acai bowl. George will go um, get it. Tattoo, um, uh, tattoo, we did speak about. What did I say there? Was I saying that I would get one if we had a thousand in my own? Now we're gonna have to listen to it again. Too distracted. <laughs> that f- <laughs> Mr. A, you fucked it. I did. Fucking war- I, did, I did warn you that it was yeah, here. No, you I did. did. That was and then very- you decided to play the audio. George when did. He was there. Um, we'll just wait a few seconds. So hang on. I did. I. I can't. I don't know if I said I was Thank getting. You, was it on the ground? They just leave it on I, the ground. I texted and said leave oh, it on the ground. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, George, did you, I say that I would get one or did I say I would get something? You said you'd get something in your own way or the daily talk show oh, okay, in your okay, own okay, way. Okay, okay. So, mm-hmm. I was just pushing back on the yeah. logo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah just but that was before we had the new one that looks great. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. What are you thinking? Would you get one? Well, we were talking about this yesterday. Mm. It'd be great if you could actually get tattoo artists to come to you, which it doesn't ha- like th- there's- Is that your biggest concern is going to the tattoo place? No, I'd, it'd be like just the convenience. I think we mm-hmm. more people would have tattoos, if, mm-hmm. but t- professionals don't necessarily do it because there's uh, liability, yes, and infection and stuff like that. But I was thinking, team bonding, team bonding. George, this is the thing. This is what I appreciate with George. George is keen for a tattoo. Yeah, he'd get one. I'd get one. But what would you get? I think just like TDTS on my thigh. <laughs> In a thigh. Fuck on your boy. thigh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My thigh. My nickname is Matthias. There's a lot of att- I've got big thighs. A lot of people look to my thighs when they look at me. TDTS <laughs> on the thigh. I would probably be. Um, I'd you probably get it on do the a small of your back, your little. <laughs> yeah, no. Mm. no, I would do um, in really? a wrist. Yeah. In a wrist. Yeah. That's very visible. <laughs> um, no, not if you're wearing um, a smartwatch or something. Oh, yeah. Jess was a hard no. Yeah. Which she, was disappointing. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. that's fair. That's fair. Look, we're not bullying anyone into mm-hmm. getting anything. I reckon it'd be great. And so, how would we... Um, see, this is the thing. I, I'm not in the mental state to be able to make this decision today. Or you are. Just how yeah, about maybe. you get a, a nine iron? <laughs> Just a golf <laughs> oh, Golf. Yeah, there's something How about golf. you be an absolute little fuckboy and get a RGC, the two golf oh, club random sticks? Golf, random golf club. Yeah, I mean, but that's got nothing to do with the show at that point. But no, but, but my point on that was I would get in my own way, meaning something that would uh-huh. either, it's a homage. So, what would your homage be? A fidget spinner. <laughs> would you really? No, I would never. I'd never. No, the problem is if I haven't even got one for 
some something else in my life, like for for Bodie or Amy or you know something mm-hmm. to symbolise that. I'd rather get that. But maybe maybe it is just doing a tattoo in the last couple of weeks is the time. Yeah. It was all a part of the Daily mm-hmm. Talk Show. Mm-hmm. So then whatever it is, uh, it's a reminder. I could do like my knuckles, <laughs> TBTS, of the four. Yeah, you could do that. That would look cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then you have to ask, do you do it inwards so it's looking in or out? It's always outwards. Always outwards. Always so outwards. like when you're doing a fist, it yeah. sort of does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a good point, but it would look, too many people would say, oh, those letters are upside down. Mm. Don't know what it says if it's on the, yeah. you know, it's well, optics. I, I, this guy who went to jail has self-made. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Freelance. <laughs> <laughs> freelance is a good one. He yeah. could. He yeah, could. Yeah. He should have got freelance. Uh-huh. Um, or, uh, jail time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, GB, with you being here, uh, do you have any looking back? I think it's like we're starting to slowly move into nostalgia and looking back at the show. What is the thing that you that stands out in the last three years for you? Uh, Just like personally or... And you can't say the redundancy. <laughs> <laughs> it was fresh. It's, it's happened in the last two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. still. What it stands out. Um, <laughs> like, for, like, I mean, I don't know. I really liked doing the videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the montages were good fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, uh, yeah, they, they were great. I'm trying to think. What he's saying is his spot. editing stands out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's but so does, much mate. work it that's does. gone into well, all of that stuff, right? Like that's the yeah. most amount of time you've spent on stuff. Like, yeah, definitely. Learnings? Like is it the that you enjoyed the process? Is it? Mm-hmm. I think just having the creative freedom to be myself mm-hmm. yeah. and, and make edits, you know, that I found fun to watch. Mm-hmm. And you guys were just like, yeah, go for it. Yeah, great. But that was nice. And we are listening back to some early episodes yesterday. Um, and your voices are so, you sound so much younger, I reckon. Can you play that audio? Right. Just one more time. This is mm-hmm. just from 111, yeah. episode 111. Ready? If we got to a, a thousand episodes of the Daily Talk Show, would you get a tattoo? We're that? saying what? The Daily Talk Show. <laughs> Where? I don't know, anywhere. Mm. <laughs> nah, <'cause> I, <laughs> maybe. Man, what a, it's a thousand away. Like I've done it in a way that it's so far away that you'll say yes and then it will come to a thousand episodes. It gives us some content. Okay. I'll get something. No. no that's so dumb. No, no, no. no. Something. <laughs> no, no, no. Tattoo. That's not, that's <laughs> right, not George, an exciting piece. <laughs> I'll get the moved. daily talk show. Tattooed. In my, in my world, in how I want it. There you go. It's so funny, I mean, we it? didn't, even the earlier episodes I think was... Um, GB described it as it sounded like I was always smiling when I was did it talking. Yeah, he was saying he was saying the straight, you haven't smiled in hundreds. Yeah. Well, that's what he's saying. He's saying like you sort of see the like stress <laughs> <laughs> come through, which um, I don't know. Like I think there's uh, I'm more comfortable. Like, yeah, maybe that's hundred percent it. it. The thing is, it's um, yeah, it's a comfortable thing around just coming on and even think about like. I don't know whether it makes for a good podcast or not, but just the ability just to be, just to say exactly what you're thinking. It's not always the most broadcast professional thing. Mm. Like me getting pissed off about my acai bowl, just then just real, like there'd be a lot of content directors <laughs> saying, Josh, you fucked that whole, <laughs> that whole bit. But there is something fun also about just being able to fucking pull from things and talk mm. and just be a bit sort of, Outrageous. There is um, <clears throat> there's hints in that audio of you from the clip of you when your mum walks in, like that same twin. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. You know, like there's something in that, and my voice sounds like the old me. Mm-hmm. It's weird, but you're right. It's like the comfortable thing. It's like you're mm-hmm. not trying to put on some fucking voice, which I don't think you do it from. You know, it's not a conscious thought. It's like Hamish Blake sounding British in the <laughs> early like. It might have been. Influenced by Ricky Gervais back then mm-hmm. or something. Like, he might have been listening to mm-hmm. a lot of a comedian. Yeah, Ricky Gervais would have been around then, what is he? What do you mean? Ricky Gervais? Ricky Gervais has been around for... Really? Yeah, Ricky had, like, one of the first podcasts. Did you know that? 2000 and... I feel like... So, Ricky Gervais became... Um, the Office. When the was office. The Office made? 
But the yeah, before that, so. the po- yeah, so it would have been right on that time, I Ricky guess. Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. I feel like the office would have been what two thousand and two thousand. I remember t- two thousand ten though. The Ricky Gervais show was okay. a podcast, very a very long time ago, and Reese Mitchell got me onto that. This is I didn't even. It's when funny. Was I didn't Gervais- even register the thought of uh-huh. what a podcast is. It was mm-hmm. just I was listening to audio. Um. But when, when did the Ricky... Because I always think like Ricky Gervais started later in life. The Ricky Gervais um, Ricky, show aired uh, 2010. Yeah. That was, like, that was the podcast. H&A, like Hamish and Eddie, 2004, 2005. Um, Ricky Gervais, The Office, 2001. Were, really? Yeah, The Office started oh in 2001. But I always found Hamish's comedy similar to Ricky. Uh-huh. Like at his time, like the timing and... Oh, so the yeah, the US one came after, didn't Mate, it? The US, I don't even US register office. the US office. I love the US. Really? I actually, I mean, I've watched amazing, more of the US office than I have. But I think if, you, if you're a fan of Ricky, mm-hmm. and then he's the guy that made yeah. it and then actually did the... Uh-huh. the, the I, yeah. just, I just consume that. So the US office was 05. And so that's 01. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. very old. Mm-hmm. Ricky's been killing it, baby. It's not crazy because you think about like, I remember hearing he started later in life. Dude, he didn't make it until... Late forties, I think. Mm-hmm. That 30, 30, 38, <laughs> thirty-eight, I reckon. Th- yeah, it can't be late forties because late 40s? He, he'd be like what f- in his fifties now. How old is so he? Was- Dude, Ricky Gervais is fifty-nine. Yeah, no, but if if you were saying late forties, yeah, two thousand one. No, so yeah, late thirties yeah. breaks, mm-hmm. and then he's he's, he's the 70. most famous yeah. he is now, yeah. and he's nearly sixty. Mm-hmm. So that's like yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a, 20 years. Yeah, that's so, crazy. he's been around 20, what was 2001? How long ago was that? T- 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And so, The Office was his break and then like, Skyball. What, Skyball. What year were you- <laughs> Skyball. <laughs> Skyball. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> you got a Skyball. What year were you born, JB? 93. 93. <laughs> what do you remember of Y2K? Uh, nothing at really? all. I completely- All I remember, went to a- two, Seven. Yeah, I was seven. Mm-hmm. I went to a- um, a New Year's Eve party, and I was dressed as Mini Me. Oh, and like, oh, oh that's funny. Yeah. And so you'd, you'd <laughs> seen again, Austin Powers. You can't see. He's just doing, doing the, the little thing. The, yeah. Yeah. So you'd seen. Aust- I remember seeing Austin Powers. It was a huge thing. Yeah, dude. Uh-huh. My brother. My brother was Doctor Evil, yeah. and I was Mini Me with the bald. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spray painted silver suits. It but it, the, the thing with um, all of that stuff is like um, the the Y two K thing. Like I I remember looking outside waiting for the planes to fall fall because remember that's what they thought was going to happen at midnight the dates were all going to be fucked the clocks and so planes were going to fall out of the sky were they talking about this on the news yeah yeah it was huge it was huge it was it was was a massive deal i saw a computers um, were going to stop i saw um, missiles were going to fire james altucher did a um it's this is very sort of um memey content but he he did it like a meme where he showed all of the um, the different things that have happened in the world. Uh, James, like, like, like Y2K, Y2K or yeah. things like that. I think it's just to give some perspective, even though I think it's very fucked up, everything that's happening now. Um, mm. And it's like every, every decade, there's been, been some sort yeah. of global thing where we thought the world's ending. Yeah, Y2K, September 11, Afghanistan oh. war. Vietnam, that's going way back. Here you go. Here he is. The so, financial crisis. Yeah, so he said, think. GFC. 1960s, no more. <coughs> I'm sorry. Fucking, thanks for being here. Uh, 1960s, no more oil in 10 years. 1970s, 1970s, another ice age in 10 years. 1980s, acid rain will destroy all crops in 10 years. 1990s. The ozone layer will be destroyed in 10 years. 2000s, ice flows will be gone in 10 years, whatever that is. 2000s, Y2K will be will destroy everything. 2001, anthrax will kill us all. 2002, West Nile virus will kill us all. 2003, SARS will kill us all. 2005, bird flu will kill us all. 2006, E. coli will kill us all. 2008, the financial crash will kill us all. 2009, swine flu will kill us all. Uh, 2012, the Mayan, uh, the Mayan, Mayan, Mayan calendar yep. will end. They, uh, they predict we that. will all die. 2013, North Korea will uh, start the Third World War. 
we will all die. 2014, <laughs> Ebola will kill us all. Mm. 2015, ISIS will kill us all. And it goes on. Jesus. Um, the Mayans got it wrong. Mm. 2012 was a great yeah. year. <laughs> it was a great year. It was year. a fucking great yeah, year. Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing in 2012? 2012 was a good year for me. I was just in Byron. Oh. I was 19. Just started at SAE, was it? Well, started at SAE. Uh, was that what? Yeah, it would have been. Before all the really? blow-ins. Actually, no, it was my gap year. I think I finished, because oh, I finished in really? 2011. What did so you do for your gap year? Just just not much. Just hmm. partied. Really? Just down at Cheeky Monkeys. Yeah. What is this called? Nah, you mate, locals don't go to Cheeky Monkeys, mate. Don't oh, they? Really? What do they go to? <laughs> Where do they go? Rum and fist fights is what. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, um, the La La's was, La, oh, yeah. was open, <clears throat> open back then. That was a good club. The pub in Byron was that? Beach Hotel, yeah. 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 Um, was that good? Would locals go there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any pubs that locals wouldn't go to outside yeah. of? Cheeky monkey. That, yeah, that's like a bar. Yeah, I don't know. Nah. What's like three local tips for Byron? For Byron? Just anything. If, if you're you flying be- to Byron right now, we have a local. Here's the thing. I haven't lived there for five years. <laughs> yeah. So and I was done. only there for five years. So okay, like yeah, calling yeah. myself a local is, is a bit disgusting. Well, your mum has a bookshop there. Yeah, if, yeah. if your family member has a business there, you're a local. Because mm-hmm. yeah. um, you're connected to a lot of locals. Like mm-hmm. your mum knows a lot of people. Yeah. Well, three local things to do. All right. Uh, but they need to be non-touristy. Yeah, like, like oh, if you want to the lighthouse. Yeah, if yeah. you want to live like a local, what are th- three things you can do? Uh, get oysters from the local fish shop and okay. go and eat them on the beach. Okay. okay That's one. a local thing to do? That's probably... Maybe, okay, go and eat them at home. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, great. Um, <laughs> To uh, live like a local is pretty boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go to the supermarket shops and <laughs> yeah. go to the supermarket and buy toothpaste yeah. and toilet yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be annoyed that it's Sunday and you get to go to work on Monday. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's like when you're at home. Yeah. yeah. What else? What uh, else, George? Come on. Ocean swim. Swim from the pass all the way across to okay. uh, the wreck. Tourists aren't doing that? No, not really. With, okay. Without I've, getting I've bitten by it. a shark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never done it. Because tourists get bitten by a shark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And third? Third. Um... Third, go go find a waterfall somewhere in the hills. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And fourth, put the bins out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because it's what what night's been night for your mum? Oh, couldn't tell you. Welcome Friday. to the Daily Talk <laughs> Show. <laughs> <laughs> no, as a local, you know he's, he's definitely not a local. I'm Does actually, it? I don't know. I'm actually Does going it? to get uh, George's mum's bin night tattooed. Tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You took the bins out last night. I did. Yeah. Yeah. So I took a photo. photo. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not a hero. Segway, dude. Yeah, yeah. 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 I fucking lobbed it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, do we have, we got some nice uh, messages. <laughs> We've got to go through them all. Uh, Trev. Do we? <laughs> Trev, well, Trev Long sent a great one. The thing is that it's so, um, uh, it's so detailed that it will take a little bit to, to go through. I've I, got one from uh, Krista, yeah. Krista Bell. Uh, on Insta, this has come through. Hey team, just wanted to say congrats on your awesome run. I discovered you boys at the start of 2020 through Shameless and immediately subscribed. Without wanting to sound dramatic, your podcast became a real highlight of my daily routine during Melbourne lockdown. And now in 2021, you've been the soundtrack to my commute every day. Thank you for sharing so much of yourselves and best of wishes for your next adventure. Imagine adventure um, Bell. some people have, you know, Fleetwood Mac as their soundtrack. Some have... Yeah. Billy Eilish, or yeah, you know. some have Ben Shapiro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And have, <laughs> uh, a Christian? nice one from uh, yeah, Chris. Chris Scott, um, lads. It's, no, no. What's your one? You read your one first. It's exact, exactly it. Is it? Is it? Oh, you've clicked through to his lads. Celebrate for the next couple of weeks. Long time podcaster from near the beginning. Fuck, that's an effort. Mm-hmm. Love that you're both ending on your terms. That's it. Epic run. You could have stopped it at 14, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know he's Christian? His Chris, name's Christian. Chris, Chris Scott. Chris, Chris Scott. Yeah, isn't Chris Scott. Yep. What did I say? You said Christian. Did I? Yeah. That's why I yeah. thought it was a different one. Um, anyway, bog down. Uh, thanks, everyone, <laughs> for listening. Hi at thedailytalkshow.com if you want to send us an email. We'd love to hear yeah. from you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, be good. Like, what do you want to hear for the, you know, the next, next. Uh, how many? What? How long? Not long. Six eps. Seven apps. Seven. Seven apps. Seven. Seven apps. Your torch is on. Uh, that's a real problem. They need to fix that with the iPhones. I didn't, yeah, I know. Just even, torches I, turning I on all the time. Is it too much to tell people though? Like, should you just, should it be a rule between everybody? No one tell anyone that their torch no, is you on. Need to, uh, actually, hi at the dailytalkshow.com. Have you completely 
ruined your battery? Have you gone from a hundred to zero percent based on based on leaving your torch on all day? I have had it in my pocket on, uh-huh. and the only reason I've worked out is because I'm like, ow! Oh, you got the heat, hot. Yeah, the heat on my thigh. Oh my just look at, like, oh, what's that? Ah, pull it out. I'm like, that's not good. Fuck the ten thousand lumens would kill you. <laughs> um, all right, uh, have a good one, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See you guys.